What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new eFootball festival campaign. Konami celebrating the 29th anniversary of the eFootball series or the PES series with the first installment of the series being launched on the 21st of July 1995. What a time. What a time. Celebrate this astounding feat. We'll be holding a commemorative campaign. So finally Konami have added something to grind and we're going to be doing this video we're going to be showing you everything with this and answering a couple of questions as well right and then we're also going to do a video on who I think is the best player to sign as well as every other free player available in the games if you want to see that smash the like button the nominated contracts the eFootball points store which player to sign in this and you can go on from there but just to clear up a couple of questions in this because I know a few people have asked me that haven't had the chance to complete this yet right when you go into the event here this is what you need to do with whatever player that you want to choose. You need to actively pick which player you want to unlock as part of the main challenge event reward. You get one shot at this and you can only sign one player, okay? So you can't repeat this and sign all three players. You can't do any trick with it. You basically sign up to this, you log in, you go into this event and then you pick your level. So if you pick to play this event on beginner level difficulty, you can only earn the main reward, which is the 290,000 GP. And a level reward, which on the beginner difficulty is Kai Havertz. You will not be able to do anything else once you complete this. So once you have Kai Havertz unlocked, you can't restart the event and get Ben White or get Jorginho. Now the three players on offer, right, are Kai Havertz, which is set to the, the, the lowest difficulty. He's going to be 97 overall with a phenomenal finishing booster. You've got Ben White is 97 overall with an edged crossing showtime skill and a crossing booster. And then, of course, you're also going to have Jorginho, who's 97 overall, with the visionary pass booster, okay? It says it here very clearly. I've seen a lot of people put out a bit of misinformation. A lot of people probably confusing themselves about it. It's very simple, right? Unless they change it at the time of recording here, and the risk of putting egg on my face, because, you know, Konami could change this, it says that you can only sign one player. So select a match, difficult, match level for the player you want. So they stress that a few different times. It says complete the challenges to earn not only rewards based on your chosen match level, which is going to be obviously the reward here, the main reward of 290,000, but also the main reward and the match level reward are, are, are linked. So you get your GP and you get your main reward. The main rewards and level rewards, so the main reward is the GP, 290,000 GP. The level rewards are the three players, Havertz, White and Jorginho, all with Showtime skills, all with boosters that are 97 overall, can only be received one time each. Once you have completed the challenge, you will not receive any main rewards or level rewards when completing the challenge in a different match level. You can change the match level at any time, but it must be before you complete the challenge. So it's fairly, fairly straightforward. Obviously, they weren't going to give three players out. These are the signable players that you have here. When you open up this link here, it will show you the players and it'll show you that they've started to kind of show you a couple of um, different, you know, things with the boosters and stuff. A couple of screen grabs there. The visionary pass Jorginho that you see here. There's a lot to like about this, man. There's a lot of nice cards here. You can see their builds and stuff like that. Um, if you wanted to go with that route and you can see all his skills and all that sort of stuff here in a little slideshow. It's an okay card. Interestingly enough, Jorginho having soul control, one touch pass, visionary pass, and low lofted is pretty decent. I will say it is pretty decent. Um, but yeah, you can have a look at the cards there by just pressing triangle or Y on the Xbox triangle on the, on the PS5 um, or PS4. And there are the rewards. I, I do feel, man, that honestly, Ben White is going to be the, the, the pick of them. Ben White is going to be like, honestly, I think like kind of Tommy Yasu, right? So he's got man marking, he's got interception, acrobatic clearance and edge crossing. But you could give him blocker as well, which would be huge on this card. He's 186. It's a very, very nice card. Um, defensively, he's solid. He's got 26 levels. Speed acceleration for an attack and fullback is really solid. And he can play off the rip CB. So I do like that card. But Jorginho as well. I have a lot of DMF, so it's probably not worth getting him for me. I would definitely be going probably for Ben White, I would say. That's who I would go with. They're all going to be 97 overall. But I hope that clears it up, lads, for the flexible showdown and how to get the free player. My recommendation would be Ben White, then Havertz, and Jorginho. But it's up to you. Let me know what you guys think of this. Finally, can I be giving us something to actually grind? Instead of just dumping it in our inbox and being like, oh, great, another player that I might never use. Now there's a thing where it's like, okay, I'm after playing a couple of games here. I'm actually going to test out Ben White and see what he looks like as a 97 overall CB right back hybrid and see what he goes like. See if we can slot him into the squad. Very solid. And for newcomers, it's a big thumbs up for me. Let me know what you guys think of it. I'll be back very, very soon with my pick of all the free players ranked, which ones to sign, which ones to train up, which ones not to waste your time on. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think of this. Please don't forget to subscribe.